Welcome back to the show. Stop Hunger Now is an international hunger relief organization providing help around the world. And one local church is joining the fight to stop hunger. You can also help lend a helping hand. Randy Reeves from River Road United Methodist Church joins us this morning. We welcome him to Virginia this morning. Randy, it's great to see you. Good morning, Jessica. We were already talking about this staggeringly impressive goal of 15 to 20,000 meals, but let's take a step back and talk about what Stop Hunger Now is all about. Well, Stop Hunger Now was, was started in 1998 by a United Methodist minister who's also a former Marine, and his goal was to end hunger, and still is to end hunger in our lifetime, global hunger. So how is that now making its way to, uh, to the River City here on April 12th? Well, it's interesting. We first found out at our church, River Road United Methodist, in, about it in about 2005, it, it, about seven years into it, and they were moving about regionally. And uh, they didn't yet have, even have an office in Richmond. We found out about it. We wanted to do it. And we've been doing it since 2006. And there are many other churches that do it. That, and there have been bigger uh, meal programs than uh, the one we're doing. But it's 29 cents a meal. So we've had situations where a number of churches have joined together to do even more than we're doing. But we're for a Sunday service. We're doing Stop Hunger Nail this Sunday after Easter. How does it work? And, and what do you need? All you need is bodies. Uh, Stop Hunger Now, the local uh, group, uh, Mike Nelson is the program director. He will show up to your church or your, uh, your civic organization with all the meal preparing uh, uh, stuff that you need. You just need tables, you need bodies. And uh, what happens is the, the bulk food comes in in different containers and it really becomes an assembly line process. It's pretty fun. Wow, so you've been doing this for a number of years. What does, what, what's the input that you get? How do people feel after taking something like this on? People love it. I mean, it's just such a great, it's an intergenerational thing. People with disabilities can participate. There's not any barrier to anyone really participating in it. And after it's, it's such a fast paced, fun thing, first half hour, people are sort of nervous. They're not sure what they're doing, how they're supposed to do it. But then as they get into about the first half hour and you start hearing the gongs, then you're really excited. So. Yeah, you gotta explain the gong situation here. Well, I don't know how the gongs came up, but at some <laughs> point the, the Stop Hunger organization decided they bring a gong. So when you get 10,000 meals, you hit a gong. And, and when you finish all the meals that you have for your particular day, they hit a gong as well. So it's every time you hit the gong, then it's a pretty exciting thing. And we're gonna do something a little different with it since it's gonna be on Sunday. A lot of times we've done this on a Saturday. We're doing it the Sunday after Easter in, in lieu of our service. And so every time we do a gong, then we're gonna have a brief worship uh, session and then start back up again. Once all of these things are created, once all of the meals are created, wh where do they go? How do they make their way to where they're needed? Well, Stop Hunger Nail partners with uh, a number of organizations in 65 countries, and they deliver those meals to those partner agencies. And those are agencies that are focusing on nutrition, especially children, to make sure they have enough energy to do, go to school and to encourage working and those types of things. And they work with those agencies to do that. And so when you finish your meals, they are packed up neatly in boxes and then Stop Hunger Now delivers them to their partner agencies. And they also deliver uh, food for uh, crises situations as well. You probably have folks that as soon as this is done and they've gotten their gongs for the day and they've you know created all of those meals, they're signing up for next year right after it, aren't they? It is usually a very well attended event. Uh, it is something that everybody can do and you feel like you're helping in the mission of the church to go out in the world because you're right here in your uh, fellowship hall, but you are touching someone who's across the continent. So at minimum, you can do this just as yourself as a volunteer? Yes, yeah, so and we're inviting anyone who wants to come on uh, that Sunday after Easter, April 12th, to show up. At 930, we'll have a light breakfast, and then we will start right into the feeding program, meal making program at 10 o'clock, and then we'll have a covered dish uh, lunch afterwards. All right, Randy Reeves, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Jessica. Thanks for the work that you're doing. Thank you so much. 15 to 20,000 meals. You can come out and enjoy the worship service at River Road United Methodist Church on Sunday, April 12th. That's a Sunday right after Easter. As Randy said, there will be a breakfast at 930 and efforts to package up those meals will begin at 10. The church is located at 8800 River Road. For more information, visit riverroadumc.org. We wish uh, Randy the very best with uh, putting all those together. Thank you very much.